Welcome back to Time to Unbox. Today we're going to be carefully unboxing the brand new Game & Watch. And you're probably wondering, didn't that Game & Watch come out like 42 years ago in a whole different country? So if you didn't know, Nintendo released a new remake of the Game & Watch just last year for the price of $50. That's right, it came out a year ago and I'm only finding out about it now. Hey guys, future Asian guy editing the video here. I needed to make the correction that the Mario Game & Watch came out two years ago and that the Zelda one is the one that came out just last year. Okay, back to the video. The only reason I found out about this product was because... Once upon a time, it was a dark and stormy night. I was exploring the Nintendo website to figure out what to buy with my large and amazing collection of Nintendo points. <coughs> I wanted to look at the Pokemon Limited Edition OLED Nintendo Switch, and I was debating if whether or not I should smash it for a video. But after realizing how terrible my previous Time to Smash video did, I decided I need to lower my budget. So I kept scrolling and found this. Yeah, I'm not sure why I narrated all that in a spooky voice. It's not even Halloween anymore. I guess that makes up for not uploading a Halloween themed video. Oh, did you want a jump scare too? Here's one. I spent $400 on a video and it flopped. Scary, right? Anyways, let's begin. Oh my god, a color screen in 2022? How exciting. Take a look for yourself. Why is it so hard to open? Carefully. Oh my god, so nice and modern. Very modern indeed, because it has USB-C. Unlike one of the most popular phones in the world. I was going to cut the wire, but I actually kind of want this. Hmm, seems about average size. It's only a year old. Does it have any battery left? No. Okay, it's time to charge this Nintendo product using a Nintendo product. Ooh. I'm just gonna let my special edition Animal Crossing Switch hang like this. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Nintendo products are durable. Press the time button. That's not what I wanted. Okay, well, how do I change the time? Oh my god, Squid Game reference! I would like to play Mario on my watch, please. Not even my Apple Watch could do this. I bet they just downloaded the ROM online and just put it on some Raspberry Pi. Where is it? Okay. Gimme! Also, here's a fun fact that may bother some of you. No matter which way you flip the charging cable, the Nintendo logo will always be upside down. Let's play with some balls. This is so boring. Oh no, my balls dropped. Okay, that's boring. Let's go to Mario Bros. 2. Oh, the lost levels. That's what it is. The screen is so tiny, I can't see. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. There's nothing. The pride flag! There's pretty much nothing else to review on this device, so... It's time... Oh my god, that was perfect timing. It's time to smash! Oh, you can change the background by pressing the time button. Okay, that's pretty much all the features that are on here. Let me at least get to the warp zone before I smash this thing. Oh, okay. Attempt 3. Pro tip, don't look at the camera when you're trying to play. Wow, that took a bit longer than expected. Okay, I give up playing this game. Get these leaves out the way! So on the clock screen, I figured out that you could spam A and B to spawn in a bunch of Koopas. But what if you're an average American and have gigantic fingers and try to press the buttons? I'm gonna be testing that out right now. GIGANTIC FINGER INCOMING! Uh, I think I went a bit too hard on it. The buttons still work. I can't see. I can't see the stats at the top. Cool. I do not know how many points I got. <laughs> well, that concludes my test. Now, what about the D-pad? 
Looks like that's a no. <laughs> well, now I can press two opposing buttons at the same time. So what happens if I press left and right at the same time? Okay, I didn't expect it to actually, like, be able to manage that. Oh yeah, on the clock screen, you can also just hold A to bring up this screen. The Mario drawing song. You can't even tell what's going on with the crack on the screen. So I know there's an underwater stage in Mario, but honestly, how am I going to get there if the screen looks like this? So I think I'm just going to recreate the underwater level in real life. Oh no! I don't want to pour too much right now. Let's dry this thing off. I don't see any water that came out. Uh... <laughs> okay, at least the audio still works. Maybe this thing still has water in it. I don't know how. It's still alive. Oh no, it died. What if I just throw it against this? What happened to the music? Oh. I guess we have to use liquid to fix the liquid crystal display. Mm. Actually, I want to try taking it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. Back inside, I have no idea how to change the brightness on this thing, so... Nintendo using Y00 screws, just like Apple? Well, you can definitely see the water is inside and I have no idea how it's still alive. When I hammered it, the plastic for the motherboard actually like cracked right here. That's a lot of screws I'm going to take out. Oh, I did not expect the screen to just pop out like that. Uh, how do I put it back in? Oh no, how will I remove the screws now? I think instead of removing the screws like a normal person, I can just do this. Such a loud speaker. Hmm, I have more screws to remove. Why did the speaker break? I didn't even do anything to it. Mmm, my favorite smoothie. I want to remove the circuit board, but I don't want to use a screwdriver like a normal person. Amazing. How tight did they glue this battery in? Ow. Oh, I just ripped off the connector. Oh, I think I just broke my nail. Okay, well now it's time to remove the circuit board. Definitely by not doing it like a regular person and removing the screws, right? See guys, I would never be too lazy and just unscrew it all. <coughs> what am I, a normal person? Okay, now to finish off the Mario experience, we've been in the overworld, we've been underwater, and now it's time to simulate a Bowser fight. Alright, let's do this. Time to drop the axe. Pretend this is an axe. On Bowser! Woohoo, he's been defeated! Anyways, that's all for this video. Don't spend $50 on a Game & Watch that can probably do nothing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.